these passive aggressive notifications are really good at getting people to come back because they feel like our green owl mascot has given up on them. Because all our notifications come from our green owl mascot, and well, he's passive aggressive and also pretty pushy.、Uh, this has given rise to a lot of memes on the internet that make fun of just the great lengths that he will go through to get you back to learn a language. Here's one of my favorite ones. This is it's a meme. It's one of my favorite ones. It's basically looks like you forgot your Spanish lessons, and then there's an intruder. Then presumably the owl broke into your house to get you to learn a language. There's thousands of memes. There's SNL skits about it. And it's because we've managed to get people to want to learn a language by using the same techniques that m- mobile games and social media use to get people engaged. When you're learning something, you get meaning out of it. Whereas when you're scrolling for two hours on Instagram, a lot of times afterwards, you feel like you just wasted your time. So I think it's actually okay if your educational product is only 80 or 90 percent as engaging as something like TikTok. Because the other 10 or 20 percent will be provided by people's internal motivation.